you win a ring, you don't show it. You never show that you're tired in the ring. It don't matter if, even if you haven't trained that well, you still. If you show that you're tired in the ring and you're fighting a fighter, you're not. You're not gonna. Make, you're not gonna make it through the fight very, very well. If, you, if I can, if I see that somebody's tired and I'm fighting them, it just you get that adrenaline rush and because you, you know he's not gonna last around. A lot of kids, there were some kids that, you know, they had a good life, a good home. There were some kids that didn't. But when you got here, it wasn't about any of that. Like, he made you work hard, but at the same time, he also treated you like a son. He took you places, he taught you things, he taught you morals, he taught you respect, he taught you manners. And at the same time, that also reflected in your boxing because you've got to respect the sport of boxing too. Right? Like, when you get in a ring, it's not about just beating the guy up. It's it's you gotta, you gotta respect it, you gotta respect your opponent because if you don't, you're gonna get knocked out or you're gonna get hurt. It's phenomenal what he did. It's, it's like, I, I can't do what he did, but it's, uh, it, was, it was a good experience. Anybody that knew Bob know that, know that he was a tremendous, a tremendous coach too. Highly respected by everybody, and like Mark said, if somebody's house burned down or something happened, like fundraisers to help. Like he was a community man. Like if something, somebody was hurting in the community or some, you know, whatever, that's that was Bob. He was lending hand. 